It has been my experience that a superyacht career is very much like a romantic relationship. And considering it's Valentine's Day, now is the perfect time to explain exactly why. This is important because, just like a relationship, if you go into it with the wrong expectations, you might find yourself in a situation that you didn't really sign up for. I'm battling with the wind here, but you better believe I'm going to tell this story, and it all starts with that first sighting, across the street. You're walking along, minding your own business, and there she is. Who is that? You've never seen her before. So attractive, and yet at the same time so mysterious. I've got to find out more about this girl. You get back to your house and you ask your mates. Hey, George, who is that? Who do you mean? That. Oh, that's Yachty. But uh, join the queue, mate, because she's got a lot of people after her. Oh, yeah? I reckon I could be in with a shot. What does she like? Well, for a start off, she likes someone who's qualified, medically fit, stamina, if you know what I mean. And so now you're doing all you can to find out about Yachty. Reading magazines, downloading all the apps, checking all the websites, all the YouTube channels. And eventually, you pluck up the courage to remove this scarf and go and introduce yourself to Yachty. I've done my STCW basic courses on my ENG1. Surely, I've got to be in with a chance. Hey, Yachty, my name is Matthew. Do you, uh, do you, do you want to go out sometime? Okay, apparently I uh, need to work on my game, work on my chat a bit, but the number. Now that I've got Yachty's contact details, I'm signing up with all the agencies, I'm banging it out, I'm phoning up the agents, I'm leaving them messages. Sending them emails, come on, come on. Days pass, weeks pass, months pass. I'm still calling up the agents. I'm still sending them emails. I'm still applying for jobs. She just doesn't seem that interested in me. But every so often, I hear from her. Got a message. It's not much, but I know I can make her like me. I just need to move closer to where she is. And say, so you get yourself a plane ticket and you fly on down to Antibes or Parma or Fort Lauderdale or wherever it is. And you immerse yourself in the yachty action. As soon as you arrive, you know you've made a good decision. The smell of yachty's perfume hangs in the breeze. But it doesn't take too long to realize that there are indeed a lot of people who are also after yachty. More. That's what I need. More yachty. Competition may be high, but I know I've got a good shot. I've written myself a decent CV, and I'm out there every day handing it to whoever will take it. More days and weeks pass, but still no date. I'm in the bar in the evenings talking strategy with the other guys, seeing what they're doing. I'm calling the agents. I'm on the apps. I'm checking in online. Handing out more CDs, educating myself more, but still nothing. Not to worry, I'm going to keep going. It just requires that one date, that one opportunity to show Yachty that I have what it takes. It's almost like Yachty is whispering to you, catch me. Hey, there she is again. I'm going to ask her, hey Yachty, would you go on a date with me? Well, actually, we are looking for some day work. Come by at nine o'clock tomorrow. We've got at least two days for you. Yes, she said yes. This is my chance to show Yachty that I've got what it takes. So you show up on the first day and it's wonderful. It's everything you could have ever dreamed of. They've got you washing down, rinsing down, wiping down, polishing. It's just glorious. So fun. So fun. Such a great time. I knew it would be great. It's perfect. You go on a second date. You go on a third date. And Yachty doesn't disappoint. It really is everything you could have ever imagined for. In fact, it's getting better every single time. Can't believe it. I'm hearing good things from other people too. I'll pop them down on my CV, just for good measure. As time goes on, things start to get a little bit more serious, a little bit more steady. And now they've got a charter booked for the weekend. And they need you to help out. They need you to stay 
on board. Your tease asked me to stay the night. <coughs> and then it happens. One of the deckhands decides to leave and you get given the opportunity. A permanent position or relationship. You can finally call yourself a true yachty. You move your belongings and your life on board and there it is. Perfect. It's happened. It's happening. And for the first one, two, three, four, five months, it's perfect. Sure, there are little things that start to niggle. Things that you start to notice about Yachty that you didn't quite notice before. But hey, I mean, she's absolutely gorgeous. She's so funny. She's so friendly, so bubbly. Everybody loves her. Of course, it's great. It's perfect. Nothing to worry about. Time goes on. Guests are on board now, starting to get a little bit more stressful, a little bit more pressure. And then it happens. As you're handed the hose at 2 a.m. to rinse down the boat for the 46th consecutive night, the cracks start to appear. <sighs> I want to rinse down this boat anyway. It's ridiculous. It's making me do this stuff. A simple job that only a few months ago you'd have been so happy to receive. Yes, I love rinsing down at 2 in the morning with 30 knots of wind blowing. And that is not all that started to annoy you. You've actually noticed that Yachty's a little bit messy. She leaves her clothes on the cabin floor. And she's a terrible morning person. Sure, maybe her perfume does smell nice, but I tell you what's not so nice. Pulling her hair out of the shower drain. And then one day, you've had enough as you're handed the chamois on the 86th morning of the guest trip to wipe down the yacht once more. I've had enough of doing this. All I ever do is wipe down this boat, wash down this boat, rinse down this boat. We don't go anywhere. I was told we were going to go to all these exciting destinations. All we've done is go up and down the French Riviera, up and down, up and down, nothing else, nothing else. I was told we were going to do lots of tender driving. I think I've driven it twice. I was told we are going to use the jet skis. We've only launched the jet ski once because the owner's daughter dropped her teddy bear in the sea and we had to go and fetch it. Yachty's eyes start to well up. She starts to cry. She doesn't know what to say. The chief stew and the second stew, they're watching now. <laughs> this should be interesting. Oh man, this is going to be one big bust up. Now the chief officer's up. He's having a look. He's seeing what's happening. Now oh, you just break it up, guys. Break it up. What's going on here? Matthew, over there. Over there. Yachty, over there. Later on that morning, Captain calls you up to the bridge. Matthew, what's going on? It's all started out so well. You've just not been yourself lately. I don't, I don't know. It's, I don't know what's happening. Like, when this started, it was, it was all so amazing, so new and so fresh. Me and Yachty we just had a great time. It was the most amazing time. I, I couldn't have ever imagined that this would happen. But now, now I'm not so sure. Captain looks at you. He says, yeah, Yachty, she's a real great girl. But it's like anything. If you want to make the most of it, if you want to get the best out of it, you've got to really work at it. You can't just take all of the nicey-nicey things and set aside all of the, the hard work and the effort required to really make it something fulfilling, something lasting. And of course, therein lies the moral of my weird and wonderful little story. Because I know that, particularly now, so many of you are so desperate to get started in this industry. Last year, for many people, it didn't really happen. This year, we don't know what's going to happen. And the more that you can't have something, the more you want it. At this point, our minds like to play tricks on us. They like to convince us that if I could just get the job, if I could just get started, if I could just get the girl, if I could just get the boy, then life would be great. Everything would be perfect. And sure, it might be great for a time. It might be exciting for a time. But I think we all know deep down that it won't last. It's not forever. I'm certainly not trying to put you off. I just want to get you prepared for the fact that it's not all fun and games. There's a lot of work that goes on behind the scenes that no one really shows you, that even I haven't really shown you on this channel, because that work is, is really not much different to the sort of work you might be doing already. It's the day-to-day, -day, the boring stuff. And even when it's the exciting stuff, we must remember that humans have this knack of being able to just normalize things. So once you've been doing what at first seemed quite exciting for a time, now it's just normal. It's just life. It's just how it is. As you develop your skills, your experience, you gain qualifications, it'll just get better. You'll just have more options and 
If you decide that there are certain things that don't work for you, well, maybe you'll find a way to work past those. Maybe you want more time at home with the family, no problem, go for the rotation. Maybe you want to travel more, no problem, go apply for jobs on yachts that actually do travel somewhere. They're not necessarily that easy to get on, there's lots of competition for them, but you've built your skills, you've built your experience, so now you're in a position to go for those jobs. So enjoy this time when it's all new and exciting and fuzzy, when it's all one big adventure. But just be prepared for the fact that you're going to need to level up down the line, when things start getting difficult, when it turns out that it's not quite what you thought it was, that's when you need to push through, when you really need to put in the work to make it something special. You all continue to surprise me with your words of encouragement and support, so thank you, thank you, thank you. Of course, the rest of the channel has plenty of videos about some yacht crew duties, what to expect, how's it gonna be, and of course, there will be more to follow. With respect to this video, I hope you found some value in it. If you did, a like would be fantastic, a sub would be amazing, and I very much look forward to seeing you next time.